Hello everyone, welcome to Widget Tricks. In this video, we are going to talk about one of the most underrated feature in Flutter which we don't talk much about is how easy it is to publish a package on pub.dev. So in this video, we are going to talk about how we can publish a Flutter package in 7 easy steps. Previously, I have published an npm package called Notion Gen before and also a photo editor Android library before. And I can tell you that it's not that straightforward to do and publish the packages in Android and also on NPM. It's required a lot of configuration in order to deploy it from the local and also from the CI. So last month I published my first Flutter package called MarkUList and I was amazed at how simple and easy it was. If you are ready with the source code, all you need is just 4CLI command and a Google account. So in this video, we'll go through step by step on how to publish a Flutter package. So let's get started. So step one is register your account on pub.dev. It is as simple as that it can be. Just go to the pub.dev, go to the sign in and then sign in with your Google account here. Since I've already done it, you can see that I have signed in it with my Google account. Step two, create a Flutter package using a template. So in order to publish a package, it requires a different directory structure compared to the actual app we normally build. So rather than creating that structure by hand, so we'll run command called flutter create dash dash template, then package, and then we'll provide the name of our package called single line text, which we are using for demo here. Now I'll hit enter and it will run a command and create whole directory structure for me. Uh, in my idea project. Now you can see it's all done. Now I can go into my package using CD single line text. So it's already created here. Now let's move to the step three is writing our code in our package. So first I'll open that project in my ID, which is located into idea project and we can see it already have all the structure required. So it already created that file and all those things for me. Now all I need to do is go to this uh, single file line text and then uh, write our package code. If you already have that code, then you just need to copy paste here or you can just create a, a, a test widget for now. So here I'll create a statelet widget called single line text and then I'll just import uh, the material dot dot and then I'll add a parameter called text which will require to display our text and then I'll just wrap a build with build widget with the text using the parameter from the text I'll just add a max line one and then overflow as I place so for the demo I have just added the single line text widget which will be exposed through our package but if your app grows you will have a lot of uh, other code as well which you want to expose or hide based on uh, your package need so remember publish a package is forever once you publish it cannot be deleted so please follow the best guideline on how to create and maintain a pub package. Now let's go to the step four uh, on creating an example app. Uh, so the best guideline around publishing a package is to create an example app. Uh, we have created this widget, but we don't know how we are going to consume this package. Uh, so in order to do that, we'll create an example app inside our package. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll just go back to my terminal. And then uh, since I have already in my single line text widget, I need to create an example app inside my package. So remember that you should create this example inside a single line text directory, which is your package. So I'm going to run a command called flutter create example, which is basically create a directory called example and have a bare bone structure of the app. So I'll just hit enter and it will do all the code signing for me. Uh, now all I have to do is just run this app. If I come towards my ID, I can see an example app now. So like that's how you create an example app. This example app also shows up on your pub.package uh, page. For example, if you see my mark your list here uh, and go to the example, this example basically is fetched from the example app which I have created. So it's very important to create an example app so that uh, the user or the developer who are using your package easily, easily knows how to uh, use this package. Now, uh, in order to use that package, it's a best practice that to use the package locally in your example app rather than uh, using from the 
pop.dev because whatever changes you are making in your package you can directly test it locally in the example app so i'll go to the main here and remove all the boilerplate code and just will keep the scaffold widget so i have created the bearborn uh, scaffold example now instead of single text i want to use a single line text which we have created but as you can see we cannot access this single line text here so in order to get this single text line widget we need to add this package locally to our pub spec file so i'll just go into the pub spec yaml and under the dependency i'll write single line text as a package name and then i'll provide a path which is dot dot slash which is basically moves a uh, one path toward the parent and then it will use the package uh, uh, from here so you need to run this anytime you make make changes to your package and then run it here then i'll just come to my main and then i can just uh, import this single line text widget from my local package uh, I can see the package here and if I go it here it just basically brings me to the this library package now step number six is to dry run the package before publishing so I highly recommend to running this step before publishing because it will catch all the errors lint errors and it will run through all the checklists which need to make sure that whatever things you are publishing or pub dev it follows its guidelines uh, I'll come to my command line so I'll just run command called dart dot pub dot publish minus try try run and I'll just run it. Now when I run it shows one warning that package validation found the following potential issue. Uh, strongly recommend include home page or repository field in your doc smell. So it's basically giving you all the checks you want. Uh, so you can fix that and then publish it. So I'll just add a repository here, which I have not created yet uh, as a home page here. And then I'll just uh, go and we'll run the dry publish command again to see if the error is gone. So now I have a zero warning here and uh, I have cleared it. Now I'm ready to publish it. This is our final step. Step number seven is publishing the package. And this is one of the simplest thing which I have found on publishing package so far compared to the Android and how I have done on NPM is that that I have to just run dart pub dot publish. So I'll run this command and it will again go through the checklist and it will say publishing is forever package cannot be unpublished policy details are available at here. Now it's basically asking me for confirmation. Do you want to publish a single line text? I'll say why yes. And if you are doing this for the first time it will require to authenticate your google account on the pub.dev uh, it's just a one-time operation so once it's done like uh, it will cache all the credential in your local and uh, you have to just publish run the command and it will publish it so to authorize i'll just uh, copy this email and then i'll come here and then i'll just add that it'll ask for the account so i'll use my account here and then i'll add a continue and it is basically authorized my app now if i come here it says uh, authorized and receive process successfully license file contain generic to do so basically uh, it's just checking that the license have a to do so i'll just uh, <coughs> remove the to do here since we are focusing on publishing the app i'm not focusing more on how to write a readme there's a whole guideline written on pub.dev where you can check out how to write a great readme so please make sure that you follow that go back here and try it once again and i'll say yes and as you can see now it's uploading uh, it says it doesn't have any content what i'll do is i'll just uh, use my existing license here i'll copy this so make sure you use appropriate lessons based on the package you're publishing either you're publishing personal or from a company you make sure that the license is correct then uh, i'll try it once again now it's saying the description contain a generic text so we are going to fix that we'll just go to the pub flag xml
from again and then we'll try it once again yes now it's asking me to fix readme and then i'll just remove this tool here as well uh, i'll re remove this as well i'll just keep this as a sample or a single line text uh, we'll go through this again and then publish it yes and now we have finally successfully uploaded the package version on pop.dev so before publishing make sure you have fixed the readme uh, the pop spec yaml homepage and description and also provide a proper license and we can see our single line text is available and if we see in the example we can also see the example which we have created and the readme which we have created here we can also check the version and all those things uh, so yeah that's how we can publish a flutter package in seven step uh, using 4cli command on pop.dev also if you are a beginner in flutter development and if you want to advance your skill set in a flutter i'm running classes called effectiveflutterday.com uh, so yeah if you're interested you can apply to join those live classes so yeah Thank you for watching and if you like this video then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.